Welcome back to another video in this QuickBooks tutorial series on YouTube. This is a free training series for QuickBooks Online. In this video, we're going to start looking at the supplier page and how to add supplier accounts, how to edit supplier accounts, how to view supplier accounts, and how to post or record supplier invoices on QuickBooks. So very much the same as we have done for customers, but this time for suppliers. To get to the main suppliers page, go under customers to vendors. Depending on what version of QuickBooks Online you have, it will either say vendors or suppliers. You'll notice the page looks very similar to the customer page. It is the same layout and the same sort of information is displayed, but obviously this is for suppliers, not customers. So we have open invoices on the system. These are any invoices that haven't been paid, invoices that we owe. Then we have invoices that are overdue. So invoices that we owe our suppliers that are overdue and then the monetary value of invoices that we have paid in the last 30 days. Let's look at adding a new supplier. Just like adding a new customer, we went to the top right. We will do the same for suppliers. Click on the new vendor or new supplier button. You'll then have the supplier information box appear. Once again, the layout is the same as adding a customer. You can put in the supplier's contact number. So I'll just make up a name. Let's say Derek Brown, the company, furniture limited display name as once again this is the name that will display on quickbooks on the previous page on the supplier list let's do furniture limited the name should appear automatically once you've put a couple of characters in as we've as it grabs the information from the company and contact name address 123 Mick Lane, city or town, you can add that information in, state or county, zip code or postal code, and country. We then have a space for any supplier notes, so any notes about this supplier specifically that you would like to add to their account, the supplier's email address. So I've just put in gcbvb at gmail.com. This is all false information that I'm entering. A phone number. A mobile number. A fax number. Any other information such as a Skype address or other address, website, and then an account reference or account number. Your supplier will have an account reference or account number for you, and that's the information you put in there. Once you're happy with the supplier that you have entered the information for, click Save, and the supplier will be added to QuickBooks. Let's add another new vendor, or new supplier. Let's put in Mickey Mouse. Company. Goofy Limited. 
display name as Goofy Limited. I always prefer the company name to be displayed rather than the contact name address. We can just put Disneyland in here. Obviously you would put a house number and street followed by the city, state, zip code and country. Notes about the supplier, email address, info at bpfsonline.com. That's my email address. If you have any questions about anything we've covered so far, you can contact me on that email and then other information we may have about this supplier. Once we're happy, click save and the supplier will be added to QuickBooks, Goofy Limited.